Hello, A Demon here. Welcome to My Friendly Neighborhood Artist, a brand new series where we interview artists that are pretty cool and we want to know more about them. Today on the block is Xenus22, a 3D artist inspired by Mega Man Legends, making low poly and high poly characters in Blender. You probably have seen their work a couple of times on this channel. So today, join me as I go through questions as my assistant Glass reads off the answers. Hello everybody, it's nice to meet you all. Oh. What? N no, that's not Miku's voice. What, what do you make sure to sub, hit the bell, and do all that jazz? Question one, what's your favorite food? Honestly, this question came to mind because food is something we just don't talk about more. I know I sound like a fat ass, but let me cook. Food is important for us to live. So case in point, I need to know what's cooking. So his answer was, I'm honestly not a picky guy. I'm happy to eat pretty much anything, so I probably wouldn't be able to say myself for certain. That's a fire answer, because not being picky lets you be creative to whatever you want to eat. And this is a bonus, being a guest over anywhere you are, you're gonna enjoy the meals no matter what. I'm already loving these answers. Question 2. If Blender were to disappear tomorrow, what would be your final project? This comes from questions that are based around if you had a set amount of time left on Earth, what would you do? And I molded the question so that someone who uses Blender could answer it. And I just didn't really want the philosophy part. I don't think we need any of that. So his answer was, I love mischief makers. It's pretty much the embodiment of every 90s anime cliche. But yet it never had an OVA, or even any animated SMBs, due to being on N64, I always dreamed of making a real animated version of the game's story. Probably not the entire plot, but the big moments like the boss battles and the final last couple levels where most of the story happens. Or maybe a fake anime opening that's using the official Troublemaker song from the OST CD. That would be fun too. This is a pretty cool one. Doing some research, Mischief Makers is a 2D side-scrolling platform game that have you play as Marina, a robotic maid saving your creator, Professor Theo, from the evil hands of Emperor Leo. I know, kind of crazy, right? Theo Leo? The Leo? I'm sorry. The game came out in 1997 on the Nintendo 64. For a game like this, in this time, was something to behold. This was the era where 3D assets were being used for video games, like GoldenEye 007, Fallout, and many more. I 100% understand why this game has so much love from the fans. It's because the game was made with a lot of care and effort, with a pretty cool lore. Even people went so far to make a fan game based off of it. How cool is that, huh? Also, if you haven't been listening, I've also been using the OST from the game. One of my favorite songs I've been listening to recently was called Broken. It's very cheery with a happy tone. Knowing me, anything that's upbeat, I'll enjoy it right away. But seriously, if you can, try to play this game. It sounds like a real retro experience you can't pass up with a banger soundtrack to boot. There's no way you would not enjoy this game. Question three, what is your favorite color? I don't think I need to explain myself for this one. It used to be blue for the longest time, but I actually realized a couple of years back that it's green. I always had a thing for characters with green traits, be it the eyes or the hair, maybe even both, but I never really thought about it until recently. I love green. Green is a color that I could never understand, but it's so cool seeing people use it for their artwork. I still need to work on my color theory, but to see some colors he mentioned in his work is awesome. Question 4. Who or what inspired you to start using Blender? The big question of them all. The type of question that makes you think and ponder, why did you really start using Blender? So let's see the answer. I don't think it was any particular person to be honest. It all started in 2014, when I was using Cinema 4D. But at some point I started to just not enjoy using it for modeling and started looking into alternatives. In 2020 Blender just had its big 2.8 UI overhaul, and that's what finally tipped me over into trying it out. Best decision I've probably made. To be honest, I love this answer the most. It's genuine and straightforward. I went into looking more into Cinema 4D to see what type of software it is, and uh, let's just say Blender is easy on the eyes, but maybe that's just me. 
Question five, if you had to pick one project, which project are you most proud of? This is my favorite type of question by far because we get to see how the artist thinks of their own work. And the answer was, I usually just say that it's whatever is my latest art thing, but I'm still very fond of the doodle jump girl thing I made some months back. The city, the animation, and all. I made a completely unique rig for her from scratch and figured out a new flexible face animation system. I'm really proud of that one. What I've seen Zenus do a lot is that he takes existing characters, logos, or whatever he can just get his hands on and turn them into his own artwork. And it just amazes me to see artists change existing art into whatever they think of. And the Doodle Jump character is just one of them. I mean, just take a look at what the character looks like. This is where the inspiration came from. How do you turn this into this? It shouldn't be possible, but it is. Making his work something unique. And talking about his artwork, if you didn't know, he also uploads to YouTube and has a YouTube channel. If you also also didn't know, he uploads his artwork to a Google Drive that's linked to his YouTube. If you also 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 didn't know, you can download and learn off of his work at any time. If you also also Okay, the bit's done. But this is something I've never seen before. An artist that uploads their own Blender files and notes to boot so people can learn off of them? Maybe I just don't look enough. But this is a gold mine for people trying to learn characters. You can go through each and every single one of them and find something that maybe can aid you in your artwork. Or just look at them because I can't even wrap my brain around some of these artwork. The one that he talks about, Doodle Jump, I, I'm still confused on the face rig. Question six, what is something that you do today that influenced you as a kid? I like to understand people's origin or just how they became who they are today, giving me a perspective of their art. And his answer was, Nothing specific, to be honest. I was kind of an empty brain kid for the longest time. A lot of what I do these days is influenced by things I liked as a kid. TV shows, games like Half-Life 2, that's where most of my inspiration for my projects flows. That's about it. He's just like me for real. Honestly, the answer speaks volume. Even though I never played Half-Life, I can understand where he's coming from. I had my fair share of games I love to play like Little Big Planet or Crash, Bandicoot. So yeah, I can understand. Question seven, do you have any other skills in different art forms? Maybe like music, drawing, and etc. This question is kind of like the last one, but to see if they have any other skills if they want to share. The answer was, I can draw just a tiny bit, but it's nothing groundbreaking. I've been sketching out my characters before modeling them since the start of the year. I'm somewhat alright-ish at mapping in Source Engine games. I've made a little Mega Man Legends inspired map for this competition, which somehow managed to win first place, and there's currently another small project in the works that I can't talk about yet. Luckily, this year, I bought Half-Life 2, and what a better chance to experience it now than with a friend's level. Alright, here is the map, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I'll get back into you to just, just a minute. Which one is made by... This was made right here. This one, something legendary. Oh, oh, wow. First and foremost, this is a beaut. Like these textures are like amazing. All right, enough dilly dallying. Let's get into this. Okay, Gordon, this should be, oh my God, that's the model of Alex. But still, you should be on the lookout. My radar picks up a lot of enemy faces inside. First and foremost, if you could see my face, the reaction, the music. Wh what? Okay, you should try looking for a weak spot. Oh, I get it. I get it. G gaming design. Uh, I did it. That was amazing. Gaming design. That was, that was cool. 
reactor uh, uh, we're looking for. You need to find a way to disengage those bots in order. That's all the info I was able to find. Thank you, Alex. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you for giving me the lore, Alex. I did not know he made his own music. He made it huh? like this. This is amazing. Where are you? Okay, die. Can you die? Can you die? All right, easy. I'm a gamer. Is this like his? Did he make this model as well? Looks really like the detail on it. It's like really cool. Like with like the little circle and in the middle like a red dot and then like the weak spot is right here and it's like it's it moves like with the big legs and it has like a little it's like a tripod i, I like and it stands on like the small leg like that's amazing uh let's go to the a wing maybe that might hold something if you would like to see the whole video check it out on Daisy's second channel but with that let's get back to the video Thanks for the love. Everything I said, I meant it with a thousand percent. That was the best experience I could ever have playing something new. Even though in the beginning, setting it up felt like hell, the game was the biggest payout ever. And I can't even imagine what would be in store for us that he couldn't even talk about. So keep up the good work, man. I seriously can't wait for the next project. Question eight, how did you get your name? A basic question, but a powerful one. His answer was, Oh, that one is kind of funny actually. I stole it from my brother when making the Gmail account. Zinus was already taken, and then it offered Zinus 22 instead. So I chose that instead. From what I know, he came out with a name based on this really crusty and bad Russian FPS game called Zinus. Not because the game is any good. He just thought the name sounded cool. Now that's a cool way of getting a name. Nothing too big, but something you'll remember. Question 9. What is something you geek out about? This question is kind of something that just props up the last question to be something bigger so that they can talk about something that's like not too big at the end. Like an appetizer before the meal. Mega Man Legends, duh. And just anything 3D modeling related. Oh, and the Half-Life 2 beta. I could tell you the rough synopsis of the entire death cycle and the lore if I really wanted to. And the details on all the leaks from the 2003 leak to the 2023 Valve repository leak. You don't understand how much stuff started to connect to one another when I did research on Mega Man Legends. So to give you a rundown, in Mega Man Legends, the earth is over flooded with water, leaving only a couple of islands left to survive on. The story starts off in the distant future where we play the character Volna, the teenage digger and an archaeologist. Archaeologist? Archaeologist. Archaeologist. Oh, thank you. Glass, thank you who searches for ruins for quantum reactors. Hmm, doesn't that seem familiar? Also, they are the main power for civilization, but that's not too important right now. I finally understand the reason why Xena's profile picture is a monkey. It's because it's one of the characters from Mega Man Legends named Data. Like, first and foremost, God, I've been sleeping on this for too long. Second, the Half-Life map we played on is exactly a reimagined level inspired by Mega Man Legends. Even though, even though it said it and I didn't understand it, I understand it now. Even like down to the chest opening. It's like a crossover or something, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, my heart can't take any more surprises. It's like a scavenger hunt connecting all the pieces together, making this one giant map. I'm genuinely grateful that I can do videos like this because getting to know another artist like this is getting a fat, massive Oppenheimer bomb of lore dropped on your brain out of nowhere, leading you to get inspired or just geek out over the references they make. Final one. Question 10. If you knew someone starting Blender today, what advice would you give them? Honestly, I'm going to read this one. Sorry, Glass. All good, boss. Go ahead. There is no secret potion to becoming instantly good at Blender, so don't get discouraged if your stuff doesn't look great at first. It's all about years and practice, 
and learning from other people. One of my pastimes was just staring at models from the models resource to see how all the big game devs went around modeling things. Modeling time lapses are great too because you can take a peek at people's techniques. I never planned to be an artist. In fact, I was a pretty horrible art fellow for a majority of my life. The only reason I started doing 3D is because I wanted to make games. Then I realized I hated making games. Yet somehow I'm sitting here with a following of great people who enjoy my art and make me happy. And I try to make them happy in return. If I could get here with just time and perseverance, I'm sure everyone else can too. Something like that. I don't know how to end a video with a heartwarming message like that at the end, but I know one thing. God damn, these characters are so fucking cool. So if you want to learn like him, just follow your heart. Don't beat yourself up and take your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is a demon and I've been your host. Make sure you go check out my other videos from my co-host Flower Kid. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Love yourself. <laughs>